Hello, everybody, and welcome back to EU4. We are playing as uh, Jing Zhao, or better known now as Manchu. Uh, my name is Newell Muffin. I forget if I said that already. Um, we took Beijing. They will not give it to us, but they are close. They are so goddamn close. They're not really that close, but they're closer than they were. And Ming only has 30,000 men. I don't know where those men are because I've only seen 50. Oh, there's more. There's 10,000 up there. So maybe I should go kill. I don't know. I don't want to leave Beijing alone. I don't want them to start taking it again. I mean, I'm just very scared here. How much is my war exhaustion? 6.3. Holy hell. I just want these provinces. That's it. I just want these. Two, three, four, five, five. These five provinces. And I'm probably going to move my uh, trade capital to Beijing and then push trade this way. Yeah. Um, it's for level two. I'm going to have to move in to take that. Trade embargo. All right, well, I can do the same thing to you. Sit right there. That's mountains. And that's mountains too. Great. Fantastic. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Oh, y'all actually decided to move. That's good. Thanks for the help. Dicks. Alright. We just need a little bit more war score, and then we're going to be able to peace out Ming for some land. Are there any more important centers of trade in the Beijing node? There are not. Okay. Cool. So what is this? This is the Japan node. Uh, convert. Okay. Alright, okay. Um, move these this way. Those are mountains. Ooh, I don't want to take that much attrition there, though. This is farmlands, farmlands. I'm actually just going to sit here, I guess. Um, rather just move around that way than having to go back through. I don't know why it was sending me on that weird pattern. Um, I wonder if they will help me attack this army in the steps. You know, any battle to where I can knock Ming down a pet is a good, good one. Oh, hello, Ming. Of stack please attack me in the mountains shit if they siege through that before I can siege through this I'm gonna be very angry maybe I'll attack them I don't know oh they, they're still going where are they going I don't know we are very far in manpower debt but, I mean, look how beautiful this province is. How much is it going to cost a core? 417 admin points. Jesus Christ. Come on. Minus seven reasons. For peace. They siege down that fort. That's good. Are they going to fight? Oh, they're going to fight, baby. I'm going to help out in this fight. Why don't you have a leader? <laughs> I always feel like I'm a... I sound like a disappointed parent when I get mad at my vassal. We have taken another loan. Peace offer from Ming. You will give me... One, two, three, four. Four? Command you. Oh, you'll actually see a lot of provinces to... Release Changsheng as a sovereign state. No, dude, you have no idea what I want. It is a lot more gruesome than that. I am gonna knock you down a peg. Hell to the yeah. Can I take all of your money? That's a lot of war reps. No. No. Release nations. Six. No. Return cores to Mongolia. No. No. How close are you to doing that? Minus 18. You're not happy. He's not given occupied cores. No. 
That would make you happy. That's 18 more reasons that we need. Okay. I see. Oh, hello. <sighs> Holy shit. This is just a war. Just, just damn. Give me what I want. I'm giving this to Oreo just so he's happy. I'm gonna need him as a friend. So I am gonna take, um, I honestly don't know. I think I'm gonna do admin first. Expansion could be nice. But humanist is just so overpowered. But the thing is, over here, humanist just, it's like, yeah, it's all right. Religious unity, it would be nice. Tolerance of heretics, years of separatism, accepted better relations over time, tolerance of heathens. Maybe I will just go Diplo first. Jesus Christ, this guy's old. Air's gonna die first. Maybe I'll just go... I don't know. I'll figure it out when the time comes. Wish this would really hurry up. I feel like it started at negative 35. Almost all of their occupied territory is gone. Minus 4.2 for Chengade being occupied by Ming. I'll go siege you down, I guess. Come on, give me something good. Disease outbreak, really? How many of those have I rolled? I feel like I've rolled quite a few. Come on. They will. Okay, so the peace offer. Ming will cede one, two, three, four, five provinces to uh, Manchu, which is one, two, three, four, five to me. And one to Oriot, just to make him happy. Um, I don't really think we can get anything else other than some money, which would be nice to help pay off a loan. Unless we could get war reps instead. How close are we to war reps? Not close at all. Damn. Paying back the loans we took is going to be a little difficult. Ta-da. All right. Sweet. Okay. First things first. Disband these mercs. Go sit in our capital. Take the mission to... Um, I don't know. That took a lot of uh, points there. Okay. Let's see, Yan Separatists, Beijing 15%. I do not want to, uh, I'm actually going to start coring that. Wow. Oh, yeah. Did these count as cores? They did count as cores. Cool. Very cool. Oh, wow. That went pretty awful i mean it did nothing went really wrong it just just things happened and you know when stuff and things happens you know it, things happen i've lost the reconquest cv i realized so now to form Qing dynasty i just need zilin gul what is that oh yeah my vassal doesn't have it as it doesn't it zilin gul no it's mongolia shit I guess forces you to go to war with Oriot. Tibet. How about a little bit of an alliance, dude? Sweet. We are full. Beriata, I don't really care for him having it as an ally, though. I think Tibet would be a, a better ally. I would think. I don't know. But I think my truce 
with you it goes another four years Jesus Christ yeah something's gonna pop there how many loans did we end up taking I think it's only three right Right, 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 right. Alright, oh, core province. It's gonna cost me Diplo, though, so that's gonna suck. But we are gonna make a lot more money when it happens. 4.6 from trade, just from taking Beijing. Wow. I think then it would make sense to protect trade in Beijing. I think. Right? I actually don't know if it would make sense then, actually. I'm still scared. Uh, I don't really know how trade and shit works. Oh, holy hell. It makes a lot of sense. We're making money. We only took one loan? Oh, no. Never mind. We have three. Yep, like I said. Uh, we are going to not fund the army as much. I'm even tempted to lower autonomy. Just because this stuff is so good. 65 development, like, or not 65. 35 development. So good. I'm going to build a temple there. That's going to be really good. Look at that. That's pretty good. Can we annex Hoxie yet? We can. 728. Oh, my God. It'll be do, done fit the year 1500. Mother of God. Might as well start. So I'm not gaining or losing any Diplo points. That could be a problem, honestly. Yeah, cancel. Yeah. I'm gonna have to save up Diplo points. It's a lot of development. Okay. Now we get to just relax. Wait for these rebels to spawn. Jin Zhao peasants. Why do I have Jin Zhao peasants? Where do I have unrest? Oh. I have unrest. Why? Why? Because overextension? War exhaustion. Right. Should be going down. Yeah. Hopefully they won't pop then because that would not be fun to have to deal with a lot of those peasants holy hell that was a ride that was just my head hurts it hurts from oh doing that focusing so intently just need to pay back my loans oh my throat hurts Incorporate Hoxie into the country. That'd be nice. Manpower reserves need to recover. It's gonna take a long fucking time. Unite the Manchu tribes. Half those provinces Hoxie owns, so. I need this province. I wish you could ask someone, be like, hey, can I buy this? Like, buy province? really wish Mongolia wasn't a vassal under deny old rights god damn I really don't want to lose the one stability or the one I hope this guy dies soon so I'm gonna take the legitimacy hit I can actually speed it up to speed four Whew. hey <laughs> what a time to be alive Royal marriage from Haxi, yes. Royal marriage with Oriot, yes. Tibet, I'm, I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Maybe I will just take expansion, so I can just start colonizing up here. Yeah, I'll probably take expansion, then I'll take exploration, then I'll take a uh, military idea, quantity, 
Look at that. Look at all that green. And then look at Ming. Look at all the hatred. Look, people like me. Other than Yaren. Which for another four or three years I can't attack. Do I still have those claims all over him? Yeah, I do. That's good. Because I'm going to take every single province. Um... Sure. Rebel uprisings. Jinzhou peasants. Fuck. I bet they're even more likely to uh, pop now. Yeah, wow. 21%. I really don't like boosting my stability. Especially once I'm close to doing this. Religious unity is a problem. That's going to go up. Overextension increases the cost. I wish I could buy down. Oh, did my good general die? That sucks. Sixty-seven. I can pay back another loan. Can't afford seventy-four. What? Oh, I guess interest. Shit, that sucks. Should be able to pay it back now. Hey. Took Beijing. Life is good. Anne uh, annex Hoxie eventually because it takes a shit ton of uh. Took four. I would still gain if I started now. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start now. I'll gain two Diplo a month for a while. 190 relations. Everything is good. 0.5% each month. Fantastic. Oriot loves me. Oh, Peasant Revolt. On the army. Are they in mountains? Shit. One of them's in mountains. That sucks. A revolt. Oh. Their revolt. Gotta wait till my morale comes back. Guess they're gonna take plus ten percent autonomy. Shit, that sucks. That sucks really bad. Since our peasants occupied that plus ten percent autonomy. Well, fuck. Wasn't really paying attention. One more month. Come on, give me full morale. Sweet. Fantastic. Is this accepted culture? It is accepted. Sweet. What culture we don't really accept is up there. Which I feel like eventually we might. Jeez, look how snowy it is over here. Wow, did the peasants actually just reinforce? Am I going to lose? Holy shit. Peasants actually just reinforced from the mountains. It's cool. But, uh, wow. He must have been already moving a certain way. Oh, cool. And my vassal's attaching to me. That's awesome. Are they going to reinforce? No. So they must have already been moving, and I just didn't notice. Oh, they are trying to reinforce. Are they going to still come this way? Wow, okay, they are. I have never been on the defensive side of rebels. Oh, rebels are gone. Thanks, bitch. Negative 14,000 manpower. Sweet. Holy shit. 
I have three forts now. That's kind of cool. Do I actually gain army tradition? That would be pretty damn cool if I did. No, I don't. War exhaustion. God, this war exhaustion sucks. Yawn separatist. Where are they? In Beijing. Right. <sighs> Alright guys, that's going to be it for this episode of EU4. I'm done for the night. Um, yeah, so there's going to be more episodes like this. This is probably going to be posted like a week in like a week from when I'm actually playing. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this campaign so far. It's been pretty, it's been kind of difficult at points. You know, fighting the Ming was hard. If I didn't have Oriot, it'd be a lot harder. Um, there have been some, some shit things happening. Oh, holy hell. Really? Is it Vassal of Japan? Really? Damn, Japan. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe just to let me know what you think. Um, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.